This project was the grand final to my third year of game development. But without that book, none of these games would be playable and none of those videos would exist. So let me explain how a bunch of letters took me from writing own stories to publishing games on Steam. It all started after I read those 348 pages of pure pleasure and thought to myself, I can do the same. I can create my own fictional world that will fascinate people even more than this book did to me. So I grabbed my mom's junky laptop and wrote down all the ideas that crossed my mind. For a year, story after story was started and cancelled until I came up with the idea that should finally turn into a novel worth showing the world. But there was one major problem. How many people take their time to read books? Right, probably less than I have subscribers, so I needed something else if I want to share my world with more than just my family. This something else turned out to be video games, which I decided while sitting bored in computer science class. I thought it couldn't be too hard to single-handedly create a 3D open-world RPG based on the story I had in mind. <coughs> with uh, no experience. So I consumed the first tutorial about game development, which turned my stomach pain into three years of headache. My journey started in Godot with this Pong clone, which doesn't even start. But since I wanted to learn a lot more than developing a Pong clone, I scrapped the project and jumped right into my dream RPG. After three months of injecting Godot tutorials, I had this 2D pixel art version of the game, where you could switch between characters, join epic battles and collect XP to level up this gorgeous skill tree, which broke the game after I tried to equip the ability. The story mode was nothing else than a huge joke as well, and since Brekkies showed up on my recommended page, I blamed everything on Godot and switched over to Unity. My first project was Boom, a pawn clone I made in 4 days as a small challenge for myself. The game featured a little shop to buy some more levels and a section to upgrade the slow motion effect, but other than that it's just a pawn clone, so let's hop into the next project. It was made for the mashup game jam with my mate Diego who made the art, music and sound effects. The theme of the jam was the sized matters, so we chose this tower defense game where different sized traps kill different sized enemies. Every time a trap is triggered or attacked by an enemy of the wrong size, the trap loses HP so you had to think about when to place which trap even more. And since each well developed game needs some sort of shop, we decided to make the traps upgradable. The game even has a small story so if you want to play it or any of the next projects, go check out my itch.io page. The next game is another game jam game with the theme being one light source. We came up with this horror game where you have to keep the light alive by collecting wood and either avoid or kill those monsters on your way to find and defeat this boss. Those projects were really helpful to understand the engine and prepared me for my first 3D game. Or did they? Of course they didn't because I already developed the RPG for 6 months before I joined the first game jam. So I basically prepared myself for the game jams and not for the main project which isn't the ideal way but at the end it didn't matter since I put the overscope piece of <laughs> to sleep in August 2020. Three months later those videos appeared on my YouTube channel and got a lot of attention compared to my earlier content. It was The Dog, a multiplayer horror game that introduced me to the hell multiplayer game development can be in combination with the desire of growing a YouTube channel. Progress was slow, coding drove me crazy and even though I really liked the idea of the game, it was simply too exhausting to develop while trying to upload regularly. So I postponed the project and two weeks after that my GPU died which led to a game dev break of seven months. It was November 2021 when I came back to game development with the plan of finishing the dog. I launched the project and was completely overwhelmed by my spaghetti code and since I had no idea where to continue, the project got postponed again. However, the devlogs are still public if you want to learn more about the dog, so I think we can move on to the most interesting part of my journey so far. Instead of doing nothing, I used a 7 month break to finish the novel I talked about in the beginning of the video. My own fictional world was more or less completed, which gave me a pretty solid foundation for the story driven open world RPG I dreamed about since November 2019. But this time I had an idea that actually seemed manageable with the stuff I learned until then. My little brother played a ton of Lego The Hobbit with me as I remembered how much I loved the game growing up and how much I still enjoy the concept of the game. And that's how I ended up developing a local multiplayer RPG in two different engines. First I spent some weeks implementing the basic features in Unity, but then this video showed up on my recommended page. Some points he made were already line dev approved, some weren't, so I said fuck it and tried out Unreal Engine myself. More in-depth information about my experience are covered in this video, but the fact that I didn't switch back to Unity makes clear that for me Unreal Engine was the better choice. Just to make clear, I don't want to start another fight about which engine is better. In my opinion it simply depends on your own preferences and needs, so test them both and decide 
afterwards. Anyways, I learned a lot in a decent amount of time, so the progress I made was awesome and the support I got was insane. After two months of learning, I managed to publish this Attack on Titan fangame in two weeks and with just four videos, I got more subs, views and watch time than in my first two years of YouTube. I felt like I was onto something great, but then I made a decision that not only damaged my channel's performance, but also consumed my entire third year of game development. The idea behind the project was to go through the entire process of publishing a game on Steam before finishing the local multiplayer RPG, which I considered my main project. And while the plan itself was good, the execution of it wasn't. Instead of creating a small space themed shooter to get in touch with Steam, I turned the project into something bigger than the initial RPG. All those new ideas I got while working on the game added months of development time. I was caught in a circle of implementing and getting new ideas and it took me until November 2022 to realize that I pretty much wasted an entire year. Uh, wait a second. I started game development in November 2019. I switched from RPG to the dock in November 2020. I quit Unity in November 2021. And in November 2022, I started Arangard Invasion, which got published in four weeks, so I guess I should definitely keep an eye on that month. Who knows, maybe I'll release a movie based on my novel in November 2069. Anyways, Arngard Invasion is what Project Mine should have been. A small project that should be finished in a few weeks and teach me the basics of publishing games on Steam, which it definitely did. Oh, I also learned online multiplayer game development as a small side effect, but you can see me suffer in this video if you want to. The game is playable for free, so take your friends and check it out after we talked about the plans for 2023. Long story short, I'll start my next project called Elementary Blades, which will teach me the last bits I need to know in order to get into my dream project again. I want to create a game as polished as possible in 4 to 6 months with the focus on good enemy AI and powerful battle mechanics, but more about that in a separate video. This means Project Mind will get at least delayed, but let me be honest here. Even though I really like Project Mind, it's just way larger than I thought in the beginning and the data shows that not a lot of people seem to be interested in a low poly indie game shooter with a fleet or crew building mechanic. I have to consider it a bit more, but while I wrote the script for this video, I realized what my main goal is and and Project Mind doesn't help to reach it in any way. So it might have to make space for a project that will help me to reach the goal of getting my own fictional world out into the real world. Have a good one.